Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to do this, make this bubble effect with Pixelmator. Alright, so first let's head on over to Pixelmator, create a new document, 800 by 600. Um, create a new layer, fill it. Um, let's say with this gray. Create another layer. Um, and create your circle for your bubble. And you can name it if you want. And you want to add a stroke to it. Uh, 20 is good. Maybe, yeah. Uh, 22 looks good. Uh, we're going to add a blur to it later, so. And then you want to make a n another layer and add a fill to it, just so that if you need to select those edges again la later, you can. You'll see what I mean later. So you can go ahead and uh, turn its visibility off. And do one more thing. This is going to be your bottom shadow. The way you do that, go back to your selection tool, make sure this subtraction is on, and let's see if I could do this right. Up, oh, hope. Right, select about right there, and you just want to add a shadow to the bottom. Fill it with um, white. It's good. And now come back to the outline. Oops, sorry. Come back to this uh, full circle, the one that you filled with the white, and click this. I uh, command click this thumbnail. Sorry. And go ahead and go to your blur Gaussian. At about, in, sometimes in the 40s looks the best. Whoops, must be a minute wrong layer. Go back. Make sure you're selected your outline. Go to Gaussian. Go to the 40s. That looks good. Now go back to this bottom shadow. And add a blur to that as well. And the last thing we have to do is you can go ahead and deselect that with Command D. Is add a top uh, little highlight section. So create a new layer. Name it Highlight. Or, um, I don't know what the heck these things are called. Now just a few clicks will do. A few clicks on the brush. Add a filter, and you want to go to Distort and Twirl. Now you might have to play with this a little bit. this thing up and move this around to you get it spread out enough and come back to your selection tool and command F turn it around move it up here then click this little options button and go to distort and pull 
this up a little bit and pull this down. And there you have it. Um, and you still have the option to remove this bottom shadow and add it. Uh, you can still select the uh, whole bubble if you need to, if you need to add something else around it or something. Um, because you can't really do that with the outline, see? So there's that, and that's it. One thing I forgot to mention was um, how to move this uh, little thing into a separate picture. So say we want to move it into this picture. So first, if you don't want this, uh, if you don't want this bottom shadow, just move it out of the way and select the outline and the highlight. Merge the layers and Command A, Command X to cut it. Minimize this and then paste it with Command V, then Command F to resize it, unless you don't want to. And then just add a blending mode of overlay or soft light. Either way, it kind of looks like a bubble. And there you have it.